In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve first order differential equations. So equations of the form dy dx equal to f of x are the simplest and can often be solved by integration. So remember though that a solution to a differential equation is a function that satisfies the equation. So let's take a look at an example. So I want you to solve the initial value problem given that dy dx is equal to 2x squared minus 3x plus 7 where y of 0 is equal to 5. So remember, an initial value problem is solved subject to an initial condition, which we've given here as y of 0 equals 5. So to solve this, let me rewrite it out first. So therefore, y is equal to the integral of 2x squared minus 3x plus 7 dx. So when I integrate, I'm going to get 2x cubed over 3 minus 3x squared over 2 plus 7x and plus c. So remember, this is um, the most general solution. So now what I want to do is plug in 0 for x and 5 for y. So y of 0 is equal to 0 minus 0 plus 0 plus c is equal to 5. So therefore, we can see that c equals 5. And therefore, my equation y equals 2x cubed divided by 3 minus 3x squared divided by 2 plus 7x and then plus 5. Next, we're going to take a look at what happens when both x and y are on the same side of the equal sign. When this does happen, the direct integration is not possible. However, if we can write the equation such as this in this form, where h of y times dy dx is equal to g of x, then the equation is separable and the method of separation of variables can be used. So written in this form, it means that we can move the y to the one side and the other side will be dependent on x. So let's take a look at this first order differential equation where we have y prime is equal to xy and then solve the initial value problem where y of 2 is equal to 1. Now remember that first order means that the highest order of this differential equation is the first derivative. So the first thing that I want to do is change the y prime to dy dx. Then we're going to separate the variables. So what I'm going to do is all the terms with a y, we'll move it to the left. If it has an x, we're going to move it to the right. So this becomes 1 divided by y dy equals x dx. So now we're going to go to step 3, which says to integrate each side. Okay, and integrating the left side, I get the natural logarithm of the absolute value of y plus c1 equals x squared over 2 plus c2. So different constants here. However, they don't have to be. So I'm going to let c equals c2 minus c1. So moving the c1 to the right side, I can just write 1 c value. All right, so now we're going to find c by plugging in x is 2 and y is 1. Okay, so from here we can see that c is equal to, so the natural log of 1 is going to be 0, and then 2 squared divided by 2 is 2, so we get negative 2. So we're going to substitute the c back into my equation right here at this step and then what we're going to do is isolate y so we then have minus 2 and then to isolate y we're going to take the exponent we're going to take the e of both sides oops so this will give me y on its own equal to e 
to the power of x squared over 2 minus 2. So by putting the e on both sides, the exponent e, which is, remember is 2.7, then we will get rid of the natural log. All right, so let's take a look at some ex other examples using the same steps. So the first one here um, is to solve the initial value problems for y. So 3, 0 is on the graph of y equals f of x, which is our initial value. So first thing, we're going to change f prime to dy dx. Now we can see that we need to separate this, and we can do this by factoring out the x squared. So I'm going to have dy dx is equal to x squared times in brackets 3y plus 1. So now I could separate this by moving and dividing the 3y plus 1 to the left side. And that equals x squared dx. So at this step, I'm going to, instead of rewriting it, I'm just going to put the integral sign here already. Okay. And in order for me to integrate the left side, I actually need to do a u substitution. So I'm going to let u equal to 3y plus 1. So du is equal to 3dy. So du divided by 3 is equal to dy. All right, so we get 1. Sorry, the integral of 1 over u times then du over 3. And then that equals x cubed over 3 plus c. So remember from before, we don't have to write two c values. I'm just going to write one c value, and we'll put that on the right side. So integrating this, we get 1 third times the natural log of the absolute value of u equal to x cubed over 3 plus c. And then resubstituting this back in, the u, we get the natural log of 3y plus 1 equals x cubed divided by 3 plus c. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take our point 3, 0, and we're going to substitute it in to our equation here. All right, so in here we get the natural log of 1, which is going to be 0. So on here we get 3 cubed divided by 3, so it's going to be 9 plus c, so c equals negative 9. So plugging that back into my equation at this step here, I get 1 third times the natural log of 3y plus 1 equals to x cubed over 3 minus 9. So we have the natural log of 3y plus 1 times in both sides by 3, I get x cubed minus 27. And then we're going to get rid of our natural log. So this will be 3y plus 1 equals e to the power of x cubed minus 27. And then we're going to Subtract 1, and then divide by 3. So notice the minus 1 is on the bottom. It's not part of the exponent here. Okay. So this is my y value and my function. All right, let's take a look at a different one. So let's do one with some trig in it. So we have y prime equals cos x divided by 3y squared, and y of pi is equal to 5. So we have dy dx. Again, remember to change your y prime so that we can actually separate the variables nicer. We're going to multiply 3y squared to the left side and move my dx to the right put in my integral symbol on both sides. So now I have 3y cubed over 3 equals sine x plus c. So 
we now have y cubed equals sine x plus c. All right, so now we're going to plug in pi for x and 5 for y. Okay, so 5 cubed is 125, and sine pi, if we recall the graph of sine, is this point here, so the sine pi is going to be 0. So c equals 125. So we have y cubed equals sine x plus 125. So y is equal to the cube root of sine x plus 125. All right, let's take a look at one more, just so that you can see some different types of examples. So we're going to change our y f prime to dy dx equal to 3xy squared minus 2y squared. So, <coughs> excuse me. So dy dx is equal to y squared. We're going to factor that out. So now we have 3x minus 1 inside the brackets. Oh, actually, it should be a 2. And we're going to now have this as 1 over y squared dy and 3x minus 2 dx. Put my integral symbol. And when I integrate the left side, this is going to be negative 1 over y. So if you want to think of it this way, you can think of it as y to the negative 2. And when we integrate, we're going to add 1. So this will be to the power of negative 1, which moves to the bottom in the denominator. And on the right side, we get 3x squared divided by 2 minus 2x plus c. So we're going to substitute 4 in for x, negative 1 in for y. So here I'm going to get 1 equals 3 times 4 squared over 2 minus 2 times 4 plus c. So we have 1 equals, so this is going to be 16 divided by 2 is 8, so we get 24 minus 8 plus c. So c is going to equal negative 15. All right, so substituting this back in, we get negative 1 divided by y equals 3x squared divided by 2 minus 2x and then minus 15. So we need to get the y on its own. So what we're going to do, let's first change our right side so that it's also a fraction. So what we can do is then take the reciprocal of the left side and then the right side as well. So we get 3x squared minus 4x minus 30 all divided by 2. And what we're going to do now is we're going to take the negative reciprocal of both sides. So when I do that, I'm going to have y is equal to negative 2 and then 3x squared minus 4x minus 30. So what I've done here is I flipped my left side. So I need to also flip my right side. So this would be y over negative 1. And then I also multiplied both sides by negative 1 so that I will have the y isolated on its own. So this final function here is my solution.